We have a man named Colin tonight, perhaps looking for a bit of the luck of the Irish against our four-time champ, Kristen Sauceville. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Colin doesn't really need that much luck. He seems to be using the Arthur Chu method of finding those daily doubles, but unlike some other players who've tried that over the past few months, he actually has the goods to back it up. Just one wrong daily double will cost him the lock. He's got 19,000. He's still got a huge lead over Kristen, and I gotta say that. Uh, Salem Witch Trials clue was devilishly hard for 1,200. Originally, the pun for that was not intended, but I guess since I keep using it over and over, you get it. That uh, last $400 clue that Kristen got right at the end before the uh, bell sounded is going to be pivotal. She doubles up, she's going to have 25.6. Anyone who's a fan of Powers of Two can see that pretty easily. Numbers. Mm -hmm. 25.6, that's going to be a wager of 6,600 out of Colin. He's wrong with that wager, he's going to be left with 12.4. Now you'll see that because she got that last $400 clue, that puts her within two-thirds of Colin's score. So if she thinks that Colin's going to lock her out with the 6,601 wager, she can wager uh, at most 400 or 399 but We'll also see that she can't cover Colin with that wager, so if Colin thinks that she's going to go small, then he could go small as well. Uh, that's going to be up to 5800 He's been aggressive all game, two $6,000 daily doubles, including a tree daily double in the first round. Kristen probably has no reason to think that he's going to change that, but Colin might take advantage of that. So if she's scared of that, that's 12 eight. And I'd actually put that as her top wager personally, because it's a numbers category. I love math. Prime numbers are a topic of one of my fact primers, and uh, I think I published it too late for Colin, unfortunately, because he forgot that one is not a prime number. He's neither prime nor composite. He went large, didn't matter for Kristen, but she went small. Five-time champ. We haven't had a six-timer since uh, Julia Collins. I think it's about 140 games. We'll see if she does it. Tomorrow, on The Final Wager.